Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Iron Guard Overview. This one goes first today because I got an early access to it. Good for me, good for you, good for everyone. Like I can just shift my attention to the ones that I didn't get. <laughs> I was also thinking I'm gonna play it on the Quest Pro because it was due to arrive today, but something went wrong, so I pissed. <laughs> And it is what it is. So Iron Guard is a classic RTS style tower defense game where on your journey to space you suddenly crash into one of its planets only to find out that your own robots rebelled against you. So you need to survive and evacuate your crew from that place. I'd say this is like a very much true classic thing that we are kind of familiar from the PC games where you have futuristic setting with tower mechanics. In Iron Guard though like in any virtual reality game you're the person that have control over everything and actually have an impact on it which is pretty fun like you partake in the combat and what's going on in the battlefield at any moment in the gameplay the environments and graphics look very pleasant they are very atmospheric to what's going on currently in the storyline and just the overall ambience it creates in terms of features and mechanics it kind of feels app labby which is not a bad thing and maybe it's just that I did not notice much variety in the first half an hour of playing it so I can only give a benefit of the doubt that it gets much more complicated later on and you have to create proper strategies to actually pass the levels. It doesn't have a lot of customization settings in terms of locomotion or just basic stuff that most games do but it does its job kinda. There's not much to say besides that, there are some bugs but they're not like groundbreaking. From my impressions it's pretty solid, it's just not like a game of the year or like something innovative. For like an RTS tower defense junkie, I can very much see that being very appealing. Not necessarily for me and it doesn't have to be always. <laughs> Let's go defend our crew. Okay, I suppose we go straight with the tutorial. There are some skills and just stuff to unlock, but it's gonna be explained anyways, right? Welcome to the Engineering Drone Defense Simulation Program. Take a look at your hands. With your left hand, you can build and upgrade turrets, teleport, and access other functionalities. With your right hand, you can control the drone. First, Let's teleport to the selected area. Aim the cursor to the marked location while keeping the teleport button pressed. And then release the button to complete teleportation. It's so fun that you can actually move around the battlefield like a godlike thing. I mean, I can just move. <laughs> Excellent. Now, take a look at the big yellow building. That's our base. You need to defend it against the enemy. To do that, we need to construct a defense turret. See that platform nearby? Aim your left hand cursor over it and click to build a cannon turret. There is no like smooth locomotion or something. There is but... What? The rotation? What's the difference? Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, that's kind of weird, but okay. Building. Good job, it's up and running. With each upgrade, the turrets get more firepower and a longer range. Improvements are costly, but they are worth it. Keep an eye on your resource balance, it is displayed near your drone. You can also see the remaining enemy waves, the base's health, and the drone's energy level. Now upgrade the turret to the next level. We can only do that with your left hand, okay. I'm not left handed so that's gonna be weird for me. Upgrading. Good. See the red tunnel? I'll launch an enemy wave from there now. Your task is to keep them away from the base. The turret will do its job, but you can assist too. Your drone is equipped with weapons. It has two modes. You can shoot in quick bursts, or hold the firing button to accumulate a reinforced charge. When you're ready, look up and start the wave by pressing the corresponding button. So we have like a ship assisting one. Do we know like the range of the turrets? That would be like neat to have a very slight indicator. 
What the? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I can do it by myself. I mean, that's fun. At least you have like an impact on what's going on. You're not just bleeding, and that's it. Oh, how did I miss it? The hell? Well done. Try not to let a single enemy through. Otherwise, they will quickly destroy the base. And one last thing. Let's test how the super weapon works. You can't use it often, but for your training, I'll make the reload instant, in case you miss. A super weapon can save you in a crisis situation. Without it, the next wave might be unstoppable. So go ahead. It's like with the teleport. Just keep the button pressed, point the cursor over the place of attack, and release the button. There are two, apparently. Fire assistance. Okay. It's gonna depend on your skill and timing to properly just aim it. Not only there's a delay, also depends on their movement, like, not that easy. Here's ammo. It doesn't have huge range, but it's okay. Fantastic. You did a great job. You are battle ready now. Best of luck. Yay! So we will unlock stuff by accumulating gears, probably from the missions. We only have three types of turrets. Okay, now five. There is some variety. A lot of stages, okay. <laughs> The year is 2232 AD. Mankind is flourishing. Technological and scientific progress has reached unprecedented heights. Humans have long gone beyond the solar system, colonizing new planets. Special terraformer ships with only artificial intelligence robots are being sent to fulfill these colonizing missions. The colonizers began to populate new planets, but one day something went terribly awry on the most recent mission. Contact with the last departed ship was abruptly lost. Something like this had never happened before. To find the missing terraformer ship, Avalon, with a crew of astronauts and scientists on board, was deployed. Avalon was sent to the system Acris, the final point in route of the missing terraformer. When approaching Acris, most of Avalon's onboard systems abruptly failed due to some anomaly on the planet. The crew was unable to regain control, and Avalon was descending toward the planet. Entering into Acris's orbit, the anomaly suddenly ceased, and the ship began to fall now under the influence of the planet's gravity. Avalon was doomed. The ship and the crew's fate seemed inevitable. It's a nice style. I can't style. believe it. What happened? This is First Officer Graves. Is anyone alive? Graves, this is Mitchell. A few more survivors here with me. I'm providing first aid, but what next? We weren't prepared for this. Are you alright? Where's the captain? Got hit pretty hard, but I'll live. The captain and the crew members didn't survive the crash. 
I think I'm the only survivor on the bridge. Guys, glad you're safe, but it seems we've got trouble. I'm picking up numerous signals approaching us. Arena, what are you talking about? Some sort of indigenous life forms? No. I'm trying to identify. It's got Earth signature. Those are... Those are robots. The terraformers. I think they're preparing to attack us. What? Are you sure? I'm no expert, but these were not combat robots. How are they gonna attack? They've got no weapons, right? That's what I too want to know, but all I see is marching robot formations with Earth signatures moving toward us. Listen up, everyone. Launch the engineer drone immediately. We need to construct turrets. We must evacuate all the wounded and take whatever we can. Let's ask questions later. Worker. Okay. It's kind of interesting that the storyline mixes up with the environment and then throws you into the gameplay. Like, you don't see that very often. So this is the path they will go. I'm assuming some other waves will start from different directions. Building. Cash here. This is the limit, I think, of the turrets. Building. No. Okay. Well, I don't know. But you can immediately upgrade. But it's better to have more stuff going on in the beginning and then build up. Prepare for wave. I mean, I wish I would have smooth locomotion. But it's not a tragedy. What's this? Oh, okay. We're good. Prepare for wave. Can we build while having a wave? Yes, okay. <laughs> That's the longest wave. Huh? Scout. So you have different enemies and you have to adapt with the turrets as well because one turret won't save you. <laughs> Upgrading. How much can we upgrade? That's a max for now. Prepare for wave. Oh, that's the wrench. Okay. Yeah, they're like faster. Fighters, and now the wave changed. Building. Building. Oh, I didn't see this, but okay. This is fine though. I like a concentration. Prepare for wave. In terms of durability, how much is it? Also, oh, one shot. Okay, that's better. But sometimes it doesn't connect. Okay, they change again. Prepare for wave.
For now. Jesus, this is big. I also dig the art style, like not overly complicated. There are some details. Just the overall ambience is like impactful here. I kind of wish I would build with right hand as well, but I understand it's for shooting only. Or maybe like switch. Building. 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 If you have an indicator straight on the turret, it will like block the shooting, but then maybe in the combat would be weird. I don't know. Prepare for wave. Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't know this. I forgot we can teleport. I mean handy, but not for me. I should kinda play it standing now, because then I would be able to turn around. But it's fine. Prepare for wave. I mean this side is fine. This is a bit weaker. Yeah, this snap turning is not ideal. We have a new direction. Building. 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 Damn, the arsenal. Prepare for wave. Oof. <laughs> Building. Prepare for wave. There are four turrets, they should be fine. I need to defend here. Everything fine. We're almost at the end. It is definitely a weak side. Upgrading. Prepare for wave. I just split my attention. Oh. Hell yeah. That's gonna be the last one, I think. If it's not the last, then I will sell other stuff to upgrade. Yeah, you know what I mean? Prepare for wave. We definitely need to be patient with loading the big one. Oh, <laughs> from every side, okay. It's four basic ones. Two, one, four, two, one. I guess I'll build in the meantime if one side will be like weak. Maybe okay. I'll just do two strong ones and then support uh, the other ones. Upgrading. Prepare for wave. Is there like a boss enemies or something? No, okay. Here will be fine.
received minor damage. That's not true. Mission complete. From what side even? Like Hey, I want to pick this up. <laughs> and then we go to upgrades. Okay, if you force me to. But we can also redistribute. Fun. And the others unlock like either after some levels or just with more gears. Okay, that should be enough. It's pretty cool. Not necessarily reinventing the wheel nor introducing some groundbreaking mechanics and just innovations. It's like what you'd imagine an immersive tower defense game put into the virtual reality that you're like the commander and just control the whole battlefield building just having control. There are a couple things that could be better in terms of UI or just locomotion preferences. I would think also more maybe variety because tower defense games as I imagine normally have like insane selection of just modifications and stuff like that. This here that I see is nice but I feel like also not enough. Then again I would have to play more and more to see actually if it would not be too chaotic. It has some kind of storyline to follow like there is a point of playing essentially, like it's not mindless gameplay. Not game of the year, but not bad either, which is all fine. Not every game has to be like that. <laughs>